Okay, so are we recording yet? I, I told you I'm recording already. Yeah, because we got it all set up. Matt. We're good. Oh. Hey, wrestling fans and beer drinkers of the world. It's the Beer City Bruiser. Uh, Neg Weiss getting mad, but uh, we got a special, special episode of the vlog today. Um, T-shirt of the day is good old Johnny Cash. The man in black. It's a lazy shirt, I know, but everybody knows... Johnny Cash and the Man in Black, but today's a real special day because with these quarantine times, the only way you can really talk to people is through social media or video chat, and I have right now my oldest daughter, Paige, live and in color, from Illinois, and Paige, how are you? I'm good, how are you guys? Oh, we're fantastic, welcome to the uh -huh. vlog, trying to tell the fans what's going on. Awesome, yeah, I've been trying to keep up with them. So here's what we're going to do. Let's get right on to the beer of the day. Samantha, my assistant, my other daughter, who is not old enough to drink. However, Paige is 22 years old, so she is old enough to drink. Paige, I'm starting my first beer of the day. How about you? Um, this your first beer? It's 2 o'clock on a Sunday, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, well, come. Uh, <laughs> why, are you pretty far in? Beer of the day, currently, we got Coors Light here. She got Coors Light, and I got... A Sprecher 414 beer. Your mountains are blue. Show the people oh, your mountains. They're blue. <laughs> nice and crisp. So cheers to you, Paige. Cheers. Oh, that's a that's a unique beer. You got Is some good beer. Is it or what? It's a, it's a Pills. Pills. And now I'm when sorry. you say Pills to a wrestler, it can be one of two things. We're not going to get into that. Oh, it's the edgy on the vlog. <laughs> so Paige is going to actually help me with story of the day because she was there for a very important... Now, Paige has been in my life, obviously, for the last 22 years. She's, at least. At least, <laughs> at least, right? And she was there from the moment I started wrestling currently. So she's seen me through the lowest of times and the best of times. And she actually was an accomplice of mine, right? I'd say accomplice. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> when I proposed to the nag wife. So, let's go back, what, 11 years? Now, man, it's been 11 years I've been with. I don't even know. I think I was in, like, 8th grade, maybe, See? or something like that. I don't know. It was a long time ago. <laughs> we we drank beer. We're a beer family. So, <laughs> we waited until she was 21, folks. But anyways, we went back. And I remember you and I were going to the wrestling show, and I was going to propose to her at the wrestling show. And you were excited because your job was to distract her. To make sure she knew nothing was going on. And we get in the car, all set to go. And I forgot the receipt to pick up the so, ring. Yep, yeah, go ahead. So preface, before this, the night before, um, Dad, I think you were at a show or doing something. Maybe you were doing wrestling camp. I'm not really. You were doing something. And Ashley and I were hanging out. And we found this jewelry receipt. And Ashley's freaking out, and she texts her dad, and she's like, oh, my gosh, what is this? And I remember Bubba saying, oh, no, it's probably just, like, a bracelet or something, like, something nice, whatever. So then the next day, I get in the car, and I had no idea that Dad was going to propose, and um, got in the car, and he's like, oh, I forgot this receipt. And I'm like, oh, no, like, really weird. We found this receipt. Like, she doesn't think it's a ring because Bubba deterred or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, then we go in. Yep, and you run back inside and get the receipt while <laughs> Ashley's in the bathroom. But you, you're you trying to be cool, but you're not. I'm trying to, yeah, not, like, give it away or whatever. But, like, we, she, like, knows what it is and where it is. So it's a little weird that I'm running in. But I'm running in, and she's doing her hair. This is just before a wrestling show. And I'm like, she's like, what are you doing? What are you looking for? And I'm like, where's the receipt? And she's like, what receipt? And I'm like, we found a receipt last night like you were talking to Bubba about it and just wondering where it was anyways get the receipt and get back in the car and so we end up going to the wrestling show and, and the long story so short is I faked an injury where I'd hurt my knee so Paige being the actor she was she's freaking out you hear her referring to Bubba. That would be my father-in-law. If you guys look, when I write on my tape, that's Bubba. We lost him in 2013, but he was one of my biggest fans. So him and Paige, that particular night, were working on distracting Ashley. So when my knee was hurt, Paige put on a great job of worrying about her dad 
Oh, and... God, yeah. And Ashley, too, when she <laughs> yeah. says that I'm worried at that time, at least, because she was kind of, you know, just getting into it, yep. I suppose, into wrestling. So she always looked to us whenever Dad had a match to make sure he was okay, because he'd flash us, you know. i give him a symbol. symbol. Yep, I have a secret symbol. Yep, me. yep. So then... If I'm freaking out visually, then Ashley's like, oh, God, the kids are freaking out. I'm freaking out, you know. She knew something was off. And she gets in the back, and I'm about to propose, and Jet Bennett and Paige both whisper to me, Neil, your your knee. So that's when I got on the knee and I proposed to her, and she said yes, and here we are uh, 11 years later, and... <laughs> That's the story for the vlog. And and your proposal had something that nobody oh, else is yes. in the world. I can. always say this, and you've heard me say this. My proposal is the best proposal in the world because I had a Steve Carino there. And Steve Carino, remember Steve Carino was there because it was in yeah. October. And he was there telling Ashley not to do it, even though he had just met her. <laughs> so any proposal out there, guys, I dare you to, ch I challenge you, try to beat my proposal. I had a Steve Carino there. I had a daughter that sold it, and I had a, I had a future wife that had no idea what's going on. So that's the story of the day. That's my daughter, Paige. That's my daughter, Sam, who's giving me a disgusting look. I don't know why. Follow me on Twitter, at BCB Winchester. Follow me on Facebook, The Beer City Bruiser. Instagram, at Beer City Bruiser. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Beer City Bruiser. Buy my shirts. ROHWrestling.com. Become an Honor Club member. You can go back and watch all the great matches that I've had. That page you got to see me struggle from the beginning all the way up through the Ring of Honor ranks. Mm -hmm. and, and all that. Yeah. And uh, say hello to my daughter. And uh, I will see you guys later. Stay safe out there.